Today I'm going to show you how to make these beaded pens with bubblegum beads. Everything I use today, the beads, the pens, the spacers, everything is from Creepsakes shop and I will put links down in the description box below. They are super easy to make. So I purchased the pens from Creepsakes shop. I've also seen them on Etsy and Amazon, but they come in a little plastic sleeve and you can see that the pen you just twist open and close and you can buy refills for these pens. Pens. These are little rhinestone spacers that are super cute, but they are very small. They are five millimeter, um, and that's all that they had to offer. But I would try to find some bigger ones, but they are really cute if you could find them a little bit bigger. I got bubblegum beads from Creepsakes as well. She definitely has the best prices, and you can get them already sort of in a themed pack like this is a little Beetlejuice pack I got the teal and gold and the peach and they are already sort of organized for you but if you go that route I would also organize them into threes so you know you like what you have to go on your pen I also got these little charm holders for the top of your pen so you're gonna put that on first and as you can see the pen just unscrews and then you're just gonna put your beads on and it is seriously that simple and then you will tighten it back up and you have your beaded pen I'm gonna show you another option is to use these spacers so unscrew the top and I put these spacers in between the beads these spacers you do have to kind of work at it to screw them on um, and I put them in between the beads and then once you get that on you again you're just going to screw it back on to your pen so i like the one with the spacers but again i would like it if the spacers were a little bit bigger and i really really love the charm bead or charm spacer at the top um you can see this purple one is my absolute favorite i'm going to show you how to add a charm to the top of this pen so I'm using jump rings and these are 12 millimeter because that's all I have, but they are way too big. So I'll talk about that in a second. So I'm going to use this jump ring opener um, that if you do a lot of keychains and stuff like this, I highly recommend that you get one, but you just take some pliers, stick in your jump ring and twist it open so you can slide it through um, the hole on your pen. And once you get it in there, you can add your bead. I got this, or your charm, excuse me. I got this bag of charms from Amazon. I will link it down below, um, but there's so many cool places to get charms. And once you have it on your ring, you just need to take your pliers and pinch your jump ring closed and you're good to go. So let me talk a little bit more about the charms. So that's from Amazon. I got these cute little flowers from Creepsakes as well, and they make a super cute addition. Okay, so there are a couple things that I would do to make these even a little bit cuter. First, the little spacers are too small. I would search around to see if you can find anything wider. I will link the ones that I got down below, but I would see if you can get anything bigger. Another thing you could do is use these really cute printed beads. Um, I got this one with a peace sign and this one with a cute little rainbow and I think you could dress those up super cute. I would look into different charms you could get to personalize them and I think it would look good with different size beads. So these are all 20 millimeter beads and I have three of them on a pen but I think having smaller beads um, like 16 millimeter or whatever you can find I can put um, some from Etsy down below. I think having multiple size beads is also really cute. There are so many ways to customize these for your customers or for yourself. Um, I have done a lot of pen tutorials, actually. I'm going to link up the next one here to do a glitter pen, and I hope I will see you there.